Okay, this is uh, section 2.2, uh, Venn diagrams and subsets. We're going to keep our uh, discussion going on sets before we talked about sets in 2.1, uh, basically just the notation. Uh, today we're going to start getting towards some math and some mathematical concepts that we're going to deal with, with Venn di uh, or, or in these sets. Okay, so the first idea is Venn diagrams. Uh, in set theory, the universe of discourse is called the universal set, typically designated with the letter U. Venn diagrams were developed by the logician John Venn. In these diagrams, the universal set is represented by a rectangle, and other sets of interest within the universal set are de depicted as circular regions. So here, uh, this rectangle would be the universal set. Uh, in two one, I talked about sets being like grocery carts. The universal set would be like the grocery store or like Walmart. Okay, the universal set has all the stuff. Your shopping cart would be set A. What is in set A that's not in the uni uh, or that you take out of the universal set and put into your cart? Okay. Uh, Complement of a set. The colored region inside the universal set and outside the circle is labeled A prime. Okay, A with this little dash here, this apostrophe, A prime. This set, called the complement of A, contains all elements that are contained in the universal set but not in A. So we have our Walmart, our universal set, we have our grocery cart, we have some things in our grocery cart. The complement of our grocery cart would be all the things that are still on the shelf in Walmart, right? Or in the in the store, okay. Notice that our grocery cart, our set A and A complement should combine to get the universal set. All right, and that's a very powerful idea. Meaning that A and A prime have to combine to give us the universal set. Okay, for any set A within the universal set, the complement of A, written A prime, is a set of all element, elements of U that are not elements of A. That is, A prime has elements X such that X are in the universal set, but and X is not in the set A. Okay? Subsets of a set. Set A is a subset of set B if every element of A is also an element of B. In symbols, this is written A with this goofy kind of sideways U with a line under it, B and this is red, A is a subset of B. Okay, notice here the Venn diagram really depicts this visually. A is completely encased in B, so A would be a subset of B, meaning all the elements of A are also included in the set of B. Example, uh, fill in the blank with either subset or not subset. Notice the line through it makes it not subset uh, to make a true statement. So let's test. Is A, B, C contained in A, C, D? Well, A is in, in both sets. or B is in the first set, but not in the second set. So is this set a subset of the second set? No. So we would write uh, this goofy symbol with the line through it. Not a subset. Now let's look at B. Is 1, 2, 3, 4 a subset of 1, 2, 3, 4? Well, it looks like all the elements are contained in, the, in, in this set, so yeah, we would say, yes, it is a subset. Okay? Set equality. Uh, remember in 2.1 we talked about set equality, where A equals B and B equals A. Uh, we can extend that to our subset definition. Suppose that A and B are sets, then A equals B. If A is a subset of B, then B is a subset of A are both true. Uh, a proper subset of A, this is what really we're interested in, in, uh, in uh, this, the subsets are interesting but proper subsets are even more interesting and it says set A is a proper subset of B if number one A is a subset or is a subset of B but two A does not equal B. If we look back here uh, at our example two here a is a subset of B, but A also equals B. 1, 2, 3, 4 is identical to 1, 2, 3, 4, and that's not very interesting. They're equal sets. Yeah, they're subsets, but if we're talking about a proper subset, we have that subset idea, 
but also the sets are not equal. Okay? And in symbols, it's written A is a proper subset of B. We just get rid of that equal type of uh, line there. Okay? Example of proper subsets. Decide whether subset or proper subset or both could be placed in each blank to make this a true statement. Well, let's look. Is A in uh, this, uh, or element A is in here, element B is also there, element C is also there, so we at least have a subset. Now, is it a proper subset? Okay, let's look. Well, A has A, B, C, and set B has A, B, C, D, so they're not equal, so that fills our second part here. A does not equal B, and so we can say also proper subset, so we would write the word both. Okay, or we could just write both symbols. Okay, it's a subset and a proper subset. Let's look at B. One, two, three, four is a subset of one, two, three, four, but they are also equal. They have the same elements, so it would not be a proper subset. It would just strictly be a uh, subset. Okay. Number of subsets. So for sometimes they ask you uh, how many subsets are, are possible given a certain set, and we just use a simple algorithm. The number of subsets of a set with n elements is 2 to the n. For instance, set A uh, might be the numbers 1, 2, and 3. Whoops, sorry, let me close my set correctly there. Uh, 1, 2, 3. So it has, uh, if we're dealing with uh, the number of subsets, uh, with n elements here, I have one, two, three elements, so I would have two to the third. There's going to be eight subsets. The number of proper subsets of a set with n elements is two to the n minus one. So again, if I have my set A, it has the elements one, two, and three. Then I would have two to the n minus one. Two to the n minus one equals eight minus one equals seven uh, proper subsets. Eight subsets, seven proper subsets. Something you'll see in your homework. Uh, find the number of subsets and the number of proper subsets. So subsets is our two to the n. Uh, here we have one, two, three, four, five. So our n is five. We have two to the fifth. That's two times two times two times two times two. Two times two is four, eight, sixteen, thirty-two. So we would have thirty-two subsets. Proper subsets, we would have 2 to the n minus 1, which is going to be 32 minus 1, which is 31 uh, subsets. Okay? All right, let's do a few examples, and then we'll close up shop here. Find each set. So we have, uh, we let the universal set be A, B, C, D, F, G, H. We have set M is A, B, E, F, and set N is B, D, E, G, H. Okay, we want to find M complement. To do that, we know that uh, M and M complement add up to the universal set. They combine to the universal set. So knowing that, we should be able to just take away M and from the universal set and be left with M prime, M complement. Okay, so if I take away A from the universal set, I take away B from the universal set, I take away E, and I take away F, then I'm left with M prime or M complement, so it's the set. Use your set notation, C, D, G, H. Okay, whatever I'm left with. All right, for B, I want uh, N complement, so I'm going to take away N from my universal set. N has B, N has D, N has E, N has G, and N has H. What am I left with? Well, N complement's going to be the set A, C, and F. That's all I'm left with, A, C, and F. Okay, and that's kind of how we're going to go about this. This is kind of introducing all of our set uh, notation, what we're going to do here. Uh, example two, write uh, subset or not subset in each, blank, in each blank to make a true statement. Is 3, 4, 5, 6 a subset of 3, 4, 5, 6, 8? Well, 3 is included in both, 4 is included there, 5, 6, so all of set A is included in B, so it is a subset. An extension of this is noticing that this set is not equal to this set, so it's actually a 
proper subset, although it didn't ask for that. So that wouldn't be an answer, but it is true of this. This is a, uh, a sorry, a proper subset of this. Uh, look at B. One is in not in but uh, in here, so it is already not a subset. Uh, five, five, six, six, seven, seven, eight, eight. So all of A is enclosed in all of B, so it is a subset. Notice here the sets are equal, so it would not be a proper subset. Okay. All right. Uh, that is all for two two. Let me know if you have any questions.